Hi everyone, your Pyral here with some more Rakuen. Last episode, we made it here to this strange village with these strange creatures. That's not the right button. There it is. Yeah, these creatures called Liebels. And some of them happen to have the same names as people in the hospital. But um, we were told to go into this cave because that's our next destination. So uh, yeah. Oh, hello. It's uh, Uma. That's weird. I hope you know, those caves you're about to go into are a tad confusing. If you're not careful, you could end up getting lost. You'd better take this. A Morizora cave map. Okay then. I would like to know more about this person, but... Uh, there's the map. There's a lower level as well. Oh, you know what? Is there going to be a battle system here? No. I like how my first thought is I'm going to fight this thing. See, that place is weird. Okay, then. At least the map is always available. Blacksmith Jackie. Oh, there's a Jackie in the hospital as well. What are you two doing in here? I'm sorry, is this area off limits? We were just looking for Morizara. Did we get the wrong cave? No, this is Morizara's cave. But you know, it isn't safe right now. Uh, okay then. The envoy here. The envoy? You know, spirits that are between this realm and another. Most of them are harmless, they're just passing around, or hanging around or passing through. But, but lately, many of them have become corrupted with bad energy. They're so blinded by things like fear and hatred that they aren't themselves anymore. I was in here collecting supplies last week and a bunch of them stole my tools. I haven't been able to work at all since then. I'm so sorry to hear that. Yeah, at least I made it out alive. But we're just really careful. Are you crazy? Didn't, uh, didn't you hear what I just said? Yeah, but I really need to talk to Morizara. Plus, we're a lot bigger than you are. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh! I was caught up in thought. I didn't even realize you were like 10 feet tall. I don't think they're 10 feet tall. Close enough. What the heck are you anyway? We're humans. Interesting. Okay, well, best of luck to you. One problem, though. I know you're trying to reach Morizora, but as you can see, the entrance to his grove has been blocked off by overgrown bamboo. I can cut that down if you got my tools back. Ah! The spirits put them in that box over there. Everything I need to do my job is in that box. Including my axe. I'll do whatever it takes to help you out. You can start by draining this lake. There are two switches in this cave that control the flow of water. From them, uh, find them both and we're good to go. Ah, okay then. Okay then, no pun intended with the, that's the spirit. Okay, so... We need to find two switches. That doesn't seem difficult enough. Excuse me, do you mind moving up, or moving so that we can get through here? Ah, you're too tired. And usually I love swimming through the dirt. I go on random errands for the tree I belong to. My tree is malnourished, which means I'm malnourished too. So unfortunately, I can't move right now. Maybe if my tree gets what it needs, I'll be able to move again. But until then, I'm too tired. Okay then. Well, there is a path that way that leads to another room, but I guess I can't go there just yet. Oh, hello. Um, Eastern water flow switch, entrance above. When the purple creature weren't blocking the entrance. If Big Brother forgets to eat, he gets so tired that he just sits around waiting for someone else to feed him. Ah, I'm gonna have to feed the Lethargio Golem. Uh, yeah. Do we have any food? Horse food. I need Scylla apples only from Scylla Cave Tree. Interesting. Okay, I need to make sure I get my bearing straight. Is this the tree? It's a sapling. Uh, sure, the sapling is beautiful. I heard that if you have happy feet, you become more beautiful. Is this true? Hmm, I don't think I've heard that saying before. Oh, it must be a tree thing then. I think you have very beautiful green leaves. 
Thank you. You see, I have three feet. They're probably popping up around here somewhere. But they are so sad right now. How can I be beautiful if my feet are so sad? One is hungry for dirt, one is thirsty for water, one really needs some sunlight. Can you please help them? Sure. Well, I guess I'll just go south here. There's a treasure chest. But it's locked. Do I need to hit these switches in a certain order? Um, who knows? Oh, that looks like it leads to a lower level. I'll save that for later. Um, what about here? Uh, how do you do? Oh, wait a minute. They're numbered. Oh. It's someone's birthday today. Okay, then. So, one. Uh. Two. Okay, one, two, three. Four, five, six, okay. Now let me just remember that's down there is three. Yes. And then that's nope. Okay. Let's see if I remember this. I think they give me the solution, so one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is wrong. Oh, it's right! Huh. Blue stone key. Okay then. Well, I'm glad I got that one right. But that's, that's pretty clever. Is there like anything hidden here? Doesn't look like it. I'll explore what I can of this floor before I do anything. Before I head down. But it looks like there's going to be quite a few puzzles for me to deal with. Oh. Will this open that door? Do you have any water? Um. There's a water bottle. A lot of water. Like a pond's worth. Okay then. Okay, that opens that. Oh, there's a boulder there that's blocking the water. But how... How do I, uh... How do I break that boulder? That's the thing. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe there's a solution up here. Looks like there's a party going on over there. Okay, well first, I'm just gonna go down. Because I think I've done everything I could in this floor, so I'm gonna go to the lower level. And try to figure out how to how to get rid of that boulder hello sue have you ever lost something that was really important to you you're like an elf i was supposed to meet my friend but i can't remember where we were gonna meet i have to find her before it's too late i have to okay then a best friend my best friend and I would go everywhere together. We had the best adventures. Both of us were kind of poor. It was sad because sometimes she didn't even have any food. But I always shared my lunch with her because that's what best friends do. I have a few people I can call my best friend. I have this really catchy song stuck in my head. It's by this budding indie rap artist named Lil Buds. <laughs> He's a sky bud so he looks like me but he lives in the sky. Uh, yeah, what's the song about? 
It's about having to work every day, serving tea to rich buds. Having a high-strung boss who wears powdered white wigs, wanting to make it as a hip-hop artist. Really speaks to me. Uh, okay, this is a cave bud. And that's it. Maybe we'll get to hear that song. I'm a glow shroom. I'm supposed to glow. Big and bright. But lately I've been having trouble holding my chargers. It's probably all that stress from work. I just gotta take it easy. Make sure to exercise. You know how it is. Oh, I feel that. Yeah, you know, we don't have the tools to remove the bamboo. Ooh. Ooh, that's creepy. Mom? What are those? Hmm. I'm not sure, dear. I wonder if they're the envoy that Jackie talked about. They just all looked at me. That's creepy. Oh, that's very creepy. Uh... Nothing here? Gosh, there's envoy things. <laughs> um... Huh. Is this like a stealth segment? Mom? There's so many of them. I'm kind of scared. It's okay, sweetie. Hold my hand and stay close to me. I'll lead us through here. Huh. So she's not scared of them. Just a little bit further. You can do it, sweetie. Mom, we made it. I knew you could do it. That dark makes me sad. Uh, we got, we got the money. I don't like the dark one bit. Neither do I. Monsters, there's nothing to be afraid of, but I still don't like it. Finally, someone who understands me. These mushrooms don't get it at all. They're like sunlight. Who needs that? Only crazy feet like the sun. Well, call me crazy, but I do like the sun. Unfortunately, I took a wrong turn and wound up in the very darkest part of this cave. Can you help me get some sun? Sure. Um... How do I do that? Uh, yeah, break that floor. Break the floor? Ah. There we go. Uh, guild practice? You haven't heard of us? We meet here every other week to jam. Or every week. We call ourselves... No Holds Barred. <laughs> I like that name. With exactly three exclamation points at the end. Heck yeah! Get it? Because we don't hold back. We don't follow the rules. We spell it B-A-R-D, not B-A-R-R-E-D. Because we're literal- we're literally bards. To play on words, I like it. I like puns. So like down here, we can be ourselves. Take Craig, for example. Yo. Oh, in the real world, he's gotta wear a suit and tie and work for the man. But down here, he shreds on an electric loop. And then there's little buds. Oh, you're the you're the little buds. Interesting. Can I offer you a scone? Only suckers eat scones. I don't know, scones aren't that bad. We all do, little buds. We all do. Channel it into the music. I hear you, flower. It's so like I was saying, down here we can be ourselves and just jam. If you need a space to just chill out, feel free to kick it with us. Yeah. Okay, so we got sunlight. There we go. Wow, how can you stand all this light? Light makes me grow. Doesn't it make you grow? No, of course not. If not light, then what do you eat? Dead plants, of course. Oh, <laughs> you're trying to eat friendly foot. And yes, we did punch the hole through the ceiling. Might have been an accident, though. The best accident ever. No, I did it on purpose. I also like this music. Oh, hang out in the dark with the other mushrooms. Uh, yeah, you do that. I have legs and can up and move no problem. 
guy over here, though. He kind of needs a sun, so I guess it's okay if this one room is so bright. <sighs> Plant. I like this music, though. Oh, and it got rid of the envoys. They're still creepy, though. But I wonder what happens if, like, one of them, like, touches us. Does it make us, like, go back or something? I don't know. But that's one of them taken care of, so... There's two more of those roots. Those friendly foots that need to be taken care of. So, I guess... I go here... There we go. There's two more that need something to grow. Yeah, this one here needs water, but I need to figure out how to get the water to move. Because, like, that boulder's blocking the way. Oh. I didn't even see that. Oh, is this just like the happy friendly foot song? Oh, you can feel the water. So, that's nice. You gave me water. Water! You can finally be me again. Thank you so much. Okay, so just need one more. And how do I do that? Because... The last one I need to move is this way. But how? Oh, you moved. Okay then. Uh, okay, it splits off into like three different paths. Actually, hold up. Hmm. Western water flow switch, entrance above. Oh, yes we are. Well, you're gonna have to find a way to move these rocks first. Do you have a pet pig? No, I don't have a pet pig. That's too bad. Pigs love rocks. A pig would clear those rocks out in five seconds flat. Interesting. Thank you for the information. Okay, so now I need to find a pig. Um, that's, that's an onion. With a bad attitude. I'm sorry, you're much bigger than any other, other onion I've seen. Your face is gonna be an onion if you don't stay out of my way. Chill out, my dude. Uh, see these fists? Are these little? Oh, uh, well. You think my fists are little? Well, uh, what kind of fists do you have? Dumb, stupid fists. No. Gosh, whenever I think of Onion, I think of Onion from, like, Steven Universe. There you are! Oh yeah, you're, you're the hungry one. Nectar of the forest. The life-giving ambrosia. That which pleaseth my stomach. Delicious, delectable, divine dirt! So I need to find dirt. Cool. Gosh, there's quite a lot to explore. Watch your step. Why? What happens if I don't watch my step? Oh. Oof. Ah. Okay. I... Well then, just... Go around. Excuse me? Can I not do that? Oops. Can I, like, just... Oh, come off it. This kid should not be surviving falls like that. Stop going down the stairs. That's not what I want to do. Okay, so... This way? Ah, oh, hey, hey, hey. I made it. 14. Do you know there's a treasure in the room below me? Pity it's behind the locked door. I wonder what's inside. 
Maybe. Aha! Redstone key. Solve the mystery. Now, do you say anything after I've gotten the key? Really? I just want to know what the owl says! Please, game! Okay, let's try this again once more with feeling. You don't say anything. Okay, then. Let's just go here. Uh... They're having a tea party. Oh, hello. Can I like... Yes, I can. Let's see, those rocks are weird. Well, one time I saw a mushroom jump from rock to rock to get to the other side as he jumped. The rocks turned blue. What's up with that weird, right? Oh, you know what? Maybe. Okay, maybe this is... I'm thinking of like the 8th gym from Pokemon Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald, where you have to like walk on ice and like each platform that you're on, you need you need to walk on like every tile of ice to activate the stairs. Maybe this is something similar to that. Like maybe I have to turn all of these blue and then it will ah ha 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 I solved the mystery. See, Pokemon helps. Don't mind me, I'm just exercising. Got to turn up these pedals. Every day is a training day, as they say. Uh, pig repellent. Okay, so... This way should take me over to the tea party or something? Right? Or... No, that takes me to the treasure chest, but... I have to go to the lower levels now, in order to do something. Okay, so... There was a set of stairs in this room down here. And that should take me to wherever it is I want to go. Okay. Ooh, will this open? Yes. Okay, you are a cat. The bigger golems are always rough and I'm not ready for that yet, so I just hang out with the cats. Okay, I'm just seeing where all this is gonna take me. There's a campfire here. And we have a pig. You come to feed me rocks or truffalos. No, they're not. Okay, then. I guess I have to find something for that. I guess that's a pig. Need to find something for that pig so it can eat the rock for us. Which I guess the solution to that is over here. I'm starting to get the layout of this cave. It's not like super difficult. Uh, let's see. What are you doing, man? I totally stepped on a rad shroom. A rad shroom? Oh no. I'm sorry, I didn't really mean to. Hmm, come here, little dude. Am I in trouble? Now we're cool. I can tell you're a good little dude. I'm King Spore, and these are my totally radical Shimeji guards. Together we make up the Rad Shroom Preservation Society, or RPS for short. All around Morizora's cave, there's a great battle going on. A war between good and evil. A struggle between rad and bad. This place is a literal war zone. Yes, yes. You should be surprised. Shocked. Surprised. For ages, the rad shrooms and the bad shrooms have been at war. Rad shrooms, like the poor little dude you just stepped on. They fill the air with righteous spores that make you peaceful, kind, and full of rad. Rad shroom spores... In the air, mean we all get along better. 
Bad shrooms, on the other hand. No! Bad shrooms are totally uncool. When you breathe in their spores, you become rude. Gnarly. Stuck up. So, little dude. While on your totally righteous journey, the RPS asks that you help stomp out the bad. While totally protecting the rad. I'll try my best. Awesome. Hey, little dude, is that like your mom? Yes. Moms are totally cool. Okay. Well. There we go. I stomped on some of the bad ones. Wonder if that's like a side quest. Uh, I know this is hard to believe, but you know there's a pig living in- Yes, I found the pig. They only eat rocks and truffles, not cave buds. I don't know what a truffalo is. If the pig had to eat someone in this cave and I had to choose who it was, I'll just be honest with you, I'd choose truffalos. Okay, there's that. Uh, all these sandwiches are filled with dirt. Can I grab one of them? That truffle pig that lives down here only eats two things. Rocks and, uh, us. So barbaric. We have the most delicious dirt. Can I claim the dirt? If you're going to come here for our dirt, we're not going to get... Um... Is that pig repellent? Yes! You can have the pig repellent if you give me the dirt. Okay then, barbaric. Uncouth. Uh, sure. So, tasty dirt and truffalo perfume. Perfect. Can I, like, inspect that picture? I don't know. But anyways, this means now I have to travel back to where the pig was. I need to remember, like, that there's these various, like... The shoots of bamboo that I could cut down. I believe the pig is up here. In this room. Also, let me stomp on that. Okay, pig. Here you go. Yes. Let me, uh... Use this. Um, yes, follow me so you can eat rocks. Isn't rocks the name of the first Naruto opening? Or is it just rock? It's not my favorite Naruto opening. It's a decent one at the very least, but whew, opening four and opening five are really, really good. Same with opening two and nine. Okay, just stomp on these. Oh, something feels different. Oh, okay. Okay, Attitude Onion. Okay, well, there you go. We helped you out. And we got an achievement for that, clear the air. Okay, so we stepped on all those. I don't think I need to really worry about that now. But, uh, eat those rocks. And I need to find the, um... I need to find... I think it's down here is where the... The root is. The foot. The friendly foot. Yes! Perfect! Uh, that divine fragrance, maybe that will carry cetaceous and yes, we got the dirt. Cool. Well, that's... That friendly foot is happy. So we should be pretty much done. I just need to activate the switches. Or... Activate the switch here. Talk to the tree now that the, now that the roots are fine. Someone needs to tell his golems to go roughhouse somewhere else. Okay, yeah. There we go, that switch is activated. 
and now I can get the food from the tree and make the tree do the thing or with the food I can uh might as well stomp on these while I'm here yes okay there we go because you gave him some water and dirt I was able to grow into a full tree so yes get the fruit can I get more than one fruit um, no. So you can now leave. And by doing this, you have the energy to do whatever. Oh, we got an achievement, become radical. I think we stomped on all the bad shrooms. Take a 1,000 watts, 90 second intervals, and I can bench like five times my own weight. Ooh, that's impressive. That mushroom is so annoying. I like how the signs sometimes have a personality. It's like no one cares how many reps you can do or how many dead plant shakes you can drink a day. I care. And the lake has now been drained. Perfect. Oh, wait, you said something? I also make my dead plant shakes. They help me put on the pounds. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Also, when the achievements popped up, they didn't... Like, you're not seeing them pop up because they're not showing up, like, where you can see them, but I see them on my monitor. Yep, we drained the lake, so now... We can get those tools. So, there we go. We can now cut bamboo. And that gives us a whole ton of things to do, actually. Cool. Now, as far as I'll clear a path to Marizora's Grove. Um, my better get back. Oh. If you visit my shop, I can... Oh, okay, yeah, so we need to get the... We need to have this blacksmith build tools for ourselves. Okay then. Cool. Well, this should take us directly out now. But we have done quite a bit in this episode. We have pretty much explored most of this cave. There's, that's not it. There's various like rooms in here with things that we can't do yet because we need we need the tools we need the bamboo cutter but next episode i don't know why i keep on opening that menu next episode we're gonna go to the other side of this cave and see what lies beyond thank you so much for watching and see y'all next time for some more rakuen later